guys, we're going to do a quick video on using the snipping tool. So the first thing that I'm going to do is find a resource that I need to snip. So I'm teaching community helpers. And there's some great links that come up. I'm going to pick this one. Okay, so here's a great lesson plan and I find this wonderful worksheet and I want to snip it because maybe I want to put it in Active Inspire or in a Google Slides presentation or somewhere else, right? But it's a PDF so I can't copy and paste, but I can use the snipping tool. So how do we get it? In the bottom left corner, you're going to click the Windows button or the Start button and in your list, you should see the snipping tool. If you don't, like for instance right now, I don't. If you just search in that bottom box, snip, it will come up, you click, and it, it will open. Sometimes it takes a second. Okay, so here's my snipping tool. You can move it out of the way by clicking on the top toolbar, and it's ready to snip. Notice that there is a crosshairs. So when I'm ready to snip, I'm going to left click and hold, and then drag diagonally across to get what I want. When I let go, here's the snip. I can then save it. So if I go to File, Save As, I can name this Community Helpers 1. I will choose to save it in my documents. I click Save. I can now use that image anywhere. Notice there's also Edit Copy. So if I wanted to directly copy it and paste it somewhere, I could do that as well. If I want to do another snip, all I have to do is click New Snip, and I'm ready to go. Or I can press Cancel because my browser went away, but if I pull it back up, click on my snipping tool, I can go back to New, and I can do another snip. And I can repeat as many times as I need. And that's how we use the snipping tool.